White Sox looking for the sweep and a seventh straight win at Fenway Park over the Red Sox. Tim Wakefield and Gavin Floyd getting together for Floyd. He's 4-0 career against Boston. Bottom two. Boston already up one to nothing. Jared Saltalamacchia, two-run single. And Boston now up a field goal. It's 3-0. But the White Sox don't lie down. Top five. It's 3-1. Alexei Ramirez at the dish. Juan Pierre trying to steal second. Dustin Pedroia looks like he tags Pierre. He's called safe as we take another look. Did he or didn't he? Not sure. Boston manager Terry Francona not too pleased with the call. Wouldn't you know it, after a Ramirez RBI ground out makes it 3-2. Carlos Quentin, the RBI double scores. Juan Pierre, the game tied at 3-3. Top six, Brent Lillibridge, not known for his power, well, this got out in a hurry for Lillibridge. His sixth of the season gives Chicago a 4-3 lead over Boston. Bottom six, still 4-3. David Ortiz standing in there. Gavin Floyd still on, and Ortiz continues to swing a hot bat. Over the green monster for Big Poppy. His 13th of the season, game tied at 4-4. Top seven, here's Paul Canerco standing in, and the Sox looking to take a lead. There's a bullet fair. And that's how you get yourself a 16,000 square foot house in Scottsdale. Sox lead it 5-4. The go-ahead run coming off Matt Albers. Now top nine, still 5-4. Here's Canerco facing Jonathan Papelbon. That ball here deep. Crawford just looks up. You can put it on the ball. Yes! A ball by Canerco and the Sox. The White Sox go on for the 7-4 win. They sweep the series. And for Canerco, career home run number 377. He passes former White Sox and former Red Sox Carlton Fisk on the all-time home run list. Floyd, six and two-thirds, four earned, gets his sixth win. Sergio Santos, his ninth save. Alexei Ramirez, three hits, three runs. Meanwhile, Canerco, three hits, three ribs.